So halfway through this third quarter, still a back and forth game. Not much has changed. Almost a backcourt violation there for Hartwick. Belai really handling that ball for Hartwick, just a smidge off the half court line. Very close call there as Rashudi D's up Belai. Belai tries to feed for Foreman, and they're going to call a foul underneath. Sam, you got to look at this game and say what more excitement compared to last night, the domination uh, play that led to an Ithaca victory, but really, it was over in, after the first half. This is a nail-biting game that's going back and forth, and what, a, what an exciting way to end the regular season. Quick offense, quick defense from both sides, leading to the score we have right now. And Dan Raymond's team certainly wants to be battle-tested come playoffs. They fared one and five against the top three teams in the conference. I'm really saying I'm really loving the way that Ithaca offense is came out in the second half, focused. Still passes, could be a little risky, but overall, that's due to Harvick's defense uh, making those look bad. But just a few bad passes over there, but they seem more focused and touch more foul, consistent. Touch foul was on Steele as she picks up her second. She thought Foreman pushed off her, but the refs aren't going to give her that on the cell. So underneath is Razanowski. Ranowski twirling to her left, cannot hit the layup, and Steele will come out of the pack of it. Steele pushes for Beers. Beers goes cross court for Rashudi. Rashudi shoots up a three, no good, and she'll get that one. And another fresh shot clock for the Bombers. Second chance opportunities galore today for the Ithaca. Well, Rashudi reached double figures 18 times last season, a season high 22 points, so she has the potential to have a solid offensive game, and she continues that pace up tonight. Straightaway three for Beers does not fall, and her shot has really been off today. Yes. Rashudi, though, from the floor, the aggressive play continues with her. So shooting up a three is Carly Johnson from the left wing. No good. If they got three people blocking out that shot, gives them the rebound easily. Whoop gives for Rashudi, takes a few steps in. She hits it and the foul. Ali Rashudi hits the long two and gets knocked down. So she goes to the line for one more. Ali Rashudi, 256 points on the season right now. She'll go to the line where she's hovering about 80% shooting from the free throw line. So a really dominant player for this team. We mentioned Kerry Steele as a senior, but when she ends her senior career next year, she'll look back on quite a career as well. And as you see that right there, Ali Rashudi hitting the tough shot and hits the foul shot as well. So it puts the Bombers up by six points as we are getting closer towards the end of the third. Averaging 10 points per game tonight in her 25th one of the season. Timeout going to be called for Coach Katie Marcella as Harwick looks to talk things over. So yeah. midway through the third quarter here, Mike, Ithaca, it seems like they've adjusted a little better. Still a back and forth game, but Ithaca's hit some tough shots and they've really been able to perform well offensively. You know, Jackie Foreman, you saw with that shot right there before the uh, the timeout was calling. Last year, though, one double-double with 10 points in the game. Our season high last year came against the Bombers back on January 17th. Uh, this is her 24th game, but again, a lot of uh, big-time scores for this Hartwick team. And really, you see Dan Raymond talking to his team right there. This coaching situation is all about strategy right now. They're not running away with the lead. In fact, they just got a lead towards the end of the last half. So they didn't have a lead. They're just trying to own it now. And that's what I think Raymond, uh, Coach had, uh, Dan Raymond saying to his team. And as you see the shots of both teams' benches, we talked about the depth of the Bombers. Significantly more players on Ithaca's side versus Hartwick's. So it's certainly a plus, especially for a coach like Dan Raymond, who likes to tweak the lineups every so often to make sure everybody gets some action and everybody is ready for when their number's called. Terry Steele ready to play the final few minutes in the third here. Was also a softball player back in high school, a very athletic person. Always great when you have multi-sport athletes. It's a lot more fun when you give everyone a chance to play multiple sports and not just specialize at a young age. Yes. So Hartwick comes back in with it. Stay worth the ball around the perimeter. Foreman was trying to post up inside, but Stone couldn't get it to her. Now the post for Bonasek trying to find a cutter. She'll take it herself. The driving move is no good as she airballs that. Rashudi coming out of the way with it, and she'll push up court. Rashudi, quick pass for Tunic. Tunic dribble drive back to Gaskins. Rashudi from downtown, it's good, Ali Rashudi from the left wing. She's on fire right now. Nothing but net. 
and Rashudi loves that. Really one of the dominant forces in this game, providing a quicker pace game. So the Bombers come out a quick press. Harvick breaks it, but that definitely uh, halts your offense a little bit, makes you regroup if you first have to worry about breaking the press. And now Bombers are within nine of the Hawks. Five seconds left. Yeah, the shot, shot clock on. winding down. Stone fires up a long three. No good. Gaskins comes away with it. And it goes off of her. We'll Gat see what the refs call, because if they say Gaskins never possessed the ball, then we're either lo probably looking at a shot clock violation, but it looks like they're saying that Gaskins had possession and simply lost the ball. So fresh shot clock for Hartwick. Shana Gaskins, the third member of her immediate family uh, that went to Ithaca College. Her brother played on the men's basketball team just a few years ago. They're saying one second on the shot clock. Vonisek fires up a three, and shot clock violation there. So the refs sort things out. Claim that, Va that uh, Shana Gaskins never had possession of that basketball. We mentioned about Kerry Steele playing softball, but Vonisek, one of probably the only player in this game that could say she went against Ithaca in basketball as well as volleyball, playing matches for the Hartwick volleyball team, played 27 games uh, as a sophomore just then. Interesting tidbit there as Tunic drives baseline. Gives to Rashudi and again, right back at you. Allie Rashudi, back to back threes. It's a golf by double digits, 56 44. Well, it's a reshoot, reshoot, and Rashudi finally continuing to make a consistent offensive effort back to back threes. A beautiful play right there. Rashudi making Hartwick work with the long ball as Foreman has it outside. Foreman gives quick shot, it rattles home for Razanowski. So Alicia Razanowski is able to hit the long two. Some defense chance coming. That looks like that's from the Hartwick bench as they're trying to fill the crowd here. Giannone recently checked in. She's running the point for Ithaca. Gaskins gets in the paint. Quick pass to Iacoboni. Iacoboni, uncontested layup is good. See, that was a mistake right there by the Hartwick defense. Instead, of, they waited for Iacoboni to go back up instead of attacking the ball while it's on the ground trying to get either a jump ball or a steal before Iacoboni could even pull the shot off. Quick passing from the Bombers. Work to perfection there. There's with a minute left in this third quarter. Ithaca up 12. So Harwick still has it on the perimeter. Taking a few dribbles and a shot is Carly Johnson and book it back to a 10 point game. She's been quiet the second half, but we saw her early in the first. That play goes out of balance right there. But smart playing by Allie Tunick defense, not trying to get a foul drawn right there as she knows too this game's far from over and they'll need every player they could get for it we saw last week in the men's game a lot of players were fouling out on both sides but hopefully in this game more people more players will contain in the game dan raymond wants a timeout here he talks it over with his team as there's some things he wants to work on again it's good is up by 10 and they've certainly played better than Hartwick, but Dan Raymond, he knows that his team needs to get those fundamentals all set with a tournament coming up next week. Again, that conference tournament is gonna be in Hoboken, New Jersey, as the Stevens Ducks will host it for the first time in the last seven years, because the last seven years, it's been played right at this spot where we are right now, the Ben Light Gymnasium here in Ithaca. Dan Raymond and uh, assistant coach Devin Shea really targeting Annie Giovanni, uh, making sure, Giannone, excuse me, making sure that she uh, draws some play up here. A freshman from Auburn, New York, she's getting a lot of uh, roles in her first year here. Yeah, we've seen some slick passes from Giannone throughout the game. Giacoboni has it in the post. Ball's batted right to Giannone. 10 seconds left in the shot clock. A small but aggressive play on Giannone. Shot clock winding down, Rashudi fires up another three, and she hits it again. Ali Rashudi, third three in this third quarter. Bombers up 61-48. Ali Rashudi keep reshooting that ball. <laughs> Play on words there, playing phenomenal in this second half. She wants that W. You have the rhymes going for you, Mike. 10 seconds left as Harwick looks to crack 50. You gotta admire that play, Sam. Absolutely, Vonisek while the temp, no good. Rashudi comes up with it. Outlet pass goes, Tunic has it, lays it up, and at the buzzer gets it to go. So Ithaca ending the quarter on a high note. It was back and forth early, but Ithaca has pushed its lead to 15 points after three quarters. Sam, I'm loving it. I'm loving the play of Ithaca right now.